Hi, it's Katrina. From crabs the size of a dog to what a billion dollars looks like in cash, here is the actual size of things, part two. Number 10. The Blue Whale You may already know that the blue whale is the largest animal that ever lived. I know, some people don't believe me, but it's the truth. And we should be honored to live at the same time as the biggest animal that has ever lived. Understanding the true size of these beautiful creatures is difficult, and even if you're lucky enough to see one breaching the water's surface, you won't see their entire body at once. These gentle giants range between 82 and 105 feet long and can weigh more than 200 tons, according to National Geographic. The longest blue whale ever recorded was 111 feet long, roughly the equivalent of three school buses parked end to end. A blue whale's tongue can weigh as much as an adult elephant, and it has the biggest heart of any animal, weighing up to 1,300 pounds, about the size of a Volkswagen Beetle. Calves are already around 27 feet long and weigh as much as a hippopotamus when they're born. A baby blue whale drinks up to 100 gallons of milk and gains as much as 200 pounds a day. Number 9. Antonov and 225 Maria At 275 feet long and with a wingspan of 290 feet, the Antonov and 225 Maria is the world's largest operational cargo aircraft. Originally designed as a Soviet rocket carrier, it's also the longest-bodied, longest-winged, and heaviest operational plane in the world, according to Aerotime Hub. To put its size into perspective, both the plane's wingspan and length are nearly the equivalent of the length of a football field. Without cargo or fuel, the An-225 weighs around 193 tons. Its gigantic cargo hold is big enough to fit 50 cars, and the plane can even carry oversized items on top of its fuselage. To accommodate its massive size and weight, the landing gear consists of 32 wheels, and a specially designed retractable nose gear system enables the plane to kneel so that cargo can be driven into the fuselage where there's an onboard crane that can lift over 60,000 pounds at a time. Its six turbofan engines are capable of putting out enormous thrust, enabling the An-225 to take off with a maximum payload of 275 tons. There is only one in operation which first flew in 1988 and entered into cargo service in 2001. Earlier this year, it made headlines for carrying 100 tons of medical supplies for combating the COVID-19 pandemic from China to Warsaw, Poland. It was the largest cargo shipment by volume, filling around 80% of the plane's cargo hold. Number 8. Coconut Crab Also called the robber crab or the palm thief, the coconut crab is the world's largest terrestrial arthropod, weighing up to 9 pounds and measuring as long as 3 feet from one leg tip to another. It's about the size of a puppy or a full-grown dog, depending on the breed. Native to the Indian and Southern Pacific Oceans, these humongous creatures even wowed Charles Darwin. Scientists are trying to better understand the species, which is related to hermit crabs, porcelain crabs, and squat lobsters, as its numbers dwindle. While studying coconut crabs in the Chagos Archipelago, Mark Ladra, a National Geographic explorer and assistant professor of biological sciences at Dartmouth College, discovered that they can generate up to 1,500 newtons of force with their grip more than any other member of the animal kingdom, while opening their favorite food, coconuts. He also witnessed coconut crabs feasting on hermit crabs, rats, and even live birds. Kind of creepy, right? Number 7. The Mona Lisa Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, also called La Gioconda, is one of the most iconic paintings of all time. Just a refresher, it is most likely a portrait of a noblewoman dressed in Florentine clothing in front of a mountainous landscape, but she is most famous for her enigmatic and mysterious grin. You can probably easily envision the painting without having to look it up, which speaks to its worldwide historical fame. But did you know that this larger-than-life painting with all of its symbolism and history is actually kind of small? Didn't you expect it to be big, like poster size? The masterpiece was unfinished when da Vinci passed away in 1519, leaving the remainder of the work to one of his assistants. There are various theories regarding who the woman in the portrait is. Many experts believe that an adoring husband named Francesco del Giocondo commissioned the painting of his wife, Lisa Gerardini, in 1503. Others believe that the Mona Lisa is a female portrait of da Vinci himself. And there are many other theories in between. 
The artwork has its very own room at the Louvre Museum in Paris, where it sits behind a shatterproof glass window in a controlled temperature chamber, which is kept at 43 degrees Fahrenheit, and underneath a glass ceiling designed to let natural light flow in, offering an optimal view of the painting. Fun fact, it was actually stolen in 1911 and has been attacked numerous times. Thanks to this bulletproof case, it is still in remarkably good condition, even though people have thrown rocks, mugs, and spray paint at it. Despite the Mona Lisa's long-lasting prominence in the world of art history and its exclusive display within the Louvre, I'm telling you, it's surprisingly small, measuring just 30 inches high and 21 inches wide, and weighing roughly 18 pounds. That's less than the size of a yardstick, or 3 feet tall and 3 inches shy of 2 feet wide, smaller than an average television set. Seeing the painting within its dedicated exhibit conveys just how surprisingly modest its dimensions are. Number 6. Patago Titan Mayorum Based on fossil evidence, Patago Titan Mayorum is thought by some to be the largest dinosaur that ever existed. It was around 122 feet long and stood 20 feet high at the shoulder. At 76 tons, this beast was as heavy as a space shuttle, about 10,000 times heavier than a bowling ball, and dwarfed the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It was about 11 times heavier. Diego Pohl, co-author of a 2017 study of the dinosaur size, said it was like putting an elephant next to a lion. Patago Titan Mayorum fossils dating back 100 million years were discovered on a ranch in southern Argentina in 2012. The species was from a collection of four-legged herbivores with long necks and tails called sauropods, who were the biggest dinosaurs of all time. The ancient gargantuan was also a titanosaur, a subgroup of the largest sauropods. Researchers are still figuring out why these dinosaurs got so big. One theory is that a sudden burst of flowering plants and vegetation provided ample food, causing them to grow. Given the size of their bones, this titanosaurian sauropod was comparable to other giant titanosaurs. However, the Patago titan bones found were much larger than those of another large creature, the Argentinosaurus. It was about 11 times as heavy as an elephant and is a contender for the biggest animal to ever walk the earth. Number 5. CSCL Globe When the container ship CSCL Globe debuted in 2014, it was the world's largest cargo vessel at over 1,312 feet long, the equivalent of eight Olympic-sized swimming pools, over four football fields, or 36 London double-decker buses lined up bumper to bumper. The ship is 186 feet wide and 240 feet high, with a carrying capacity of 19,100 containers, enough space for 300 million laptops, 156 million pairs of shoes, or 900 million cans of baked beans, according to the BBC. Laid end to end, the maximum containers the vessel can hold would stretch for 72 miles. Another way to measure the CSCL globe's cargo carrying capacity is by gross tonnage, which is 187,541 tons. Not quite as much as the Antonov Maria cargo plane, but still impressive in its own right, especially when you get a chance to witness how the vessel dwarves other ships. Its engine alone is one of the largest ever constructed, standing at 56 feet high, or around five stories. The CSCL globe is so big, in fact, it's too tall to dock at any U.S. ports, and it's too wide to traverse the Panama Canal, but it only spent around a month as the world's biggest cargo ship in operation before it was superseded by the Oscar, which can carry 224 more containers. Number 4. Giant Isopod The Bathynomus genus contains around nine species of large, bottom-dwelling crustaceans called giant isopods, with B. giganteus being the biggest among them. They typically reach between 7.5 and 14 inches long, but it can grow even bigger. In 2010, for example, a remotely operated vehicle was pulled from the water with a 2.5-foot-long giant isopod attached. Scientists are unsure why giant isopods get so big, but they believe their size may be an evolutionary adaptation that has something to do with surviving the immense pressures at the bottom of the ocean, where these creatures live at depths beyond 1,640 feet. This is called deep-sea gigantism, which is when deep-sea dwellers grow larger than their shallow water relatives. In the case of the giant isopod, this may result from cooler water temperatures and therefore longer lifespans. They might just go on growing forever if they get the chance. Number 3. Curiosity Rover 
NASA's Mars Science Laboratory's Curiosity rover is a vehicle designed for exploring the Red Planet, where it touched down for the first time on August 6, 2012, after a 350 million mile journey. Its jobs are to investigate the climate and geology on Mars, detect any conditions that were possibly once favorable for microbial life, including evidence of water, and explore future prospects of planetary habitability. I don't know if I want to live on Mars, do you? At first glance, Curiosity looks relatively small, perhaps the size of the toy cars and jeeps that children ride around in. But in reality, it's closer to the size of an actual vehicle. At about 10 feet long, 9 feet wide, and 7 feet tall, it's roughly the equivalent of a small SUV. At around 2,000 pounds, it weighs about the same as well. It also has six 20-inch wheels, which are designed to roll over obstacles measuring up to 25 inches high, or a little over 2 feet, and to travel about 660 feet daily. So, while the Curiosity certainly compares in size to an SUV, it doesn't go nearly as fast as one, and it's arguably more capable of traversing rough terrain. The rover has been on Mars for upwards of 2,766 souls, or Mars days. In late 2019, it discovered evidence that the Martian Gale Crater may have once contained saltwater ponds and streams, which periodically overflowed and dried up over millions of years. Number 2. The Blanket Octopus The term sexual dimorphism refers to the difference in size between males and females in the animal kingdom. One of the most striking examples of this difference is seen in the blanket octopus, with females reaching up to 6 feet long and weighing as much as 40,000 times more than their male counterparts. Males are about the size of a walnut, measuring less than an inch long, so small that, according to biologist Tom Treganza, one specimen could fit inside a female's pupil. A male blanket octopus was only observed for the first time in 2002. Perhaps researchers were looking for a bigger creature given the female's size. There are four species of blanket octopus, and mating literally happens at an arm's length, with the male detaching his sperm-holding arm, called a hectocotylus, and giving it to the female, you're welcome, who stores it in her mantle for a rainy day when she wants to reproduce. Scientists can only speculate thus far regarding why male and female blanket octopuses differ so greatly from one another in size. One theory is that males put all their energy into finding mates, rather than growing. Blanket octopuses are also unique in their immunity to the highly potent venom of the Portuguese man-o-war, which is highly venomous to humans. Females are even known to yank the creature's tentacles and wield them as her weapon against other creatures and divers that get too close. When threatened, female blanket octopuses outstretch their arms, creating the blanket-like effect they're named after, which is intended to scare away predators. Is it working? Are they scary? Number 1. A Million Versus A Billion Dollars Even most of the richest people on Earth have probably never had a million dollars or more in cash laid out in front of them at any given time, given the tendency for people nowadays to keep their money in the bank and handle transactions electronically. And suppose someone did have that much cash stored at their house, they would probably store it in the form of $100 bills. But what would a million or even a billion dollars look like in stacks of single dollar bills? I mean, Pablo Escobar may be new, but the rest of us? According to the Endowment for Human Development, a stack of one million one dollar bills would measure 4,300 inches or 358 feet high, roughly the size of a 30 to 35 story building. A $100 million stack would add up to 35,851 feet, or 6.79 miles. This is about the same altitude that commercial airliners fly at. $1 billion would reach 67.9 miles into the sky, where space begins at an altitude of 62 miles. This means that well-known billionaires like Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, who's worth around $145 billion, and Bill Gates, who's worth nearly $107 billion, have enough money to reach well into the realm of space. Meanwhile, most Americans don't even make the $100,000 it would take for their annual salary to measure 43 inches, or less than 4 feet high as a single stack of dollar bills. Thanks for watching! Which one did you like the most? My favorite is the blanket octopus. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!